All right, welcome back, and I've got the clock tower pieces all laid out, and yes, I'm going to open the bags. So do you remember this thing here? We saw this earlier. It's the instruction manual, and yeah, it's uh, this is all the pieces right here. So I'm going to set this off to the side. We're going to just open all this stuff up real quick and get it open and see what's in here. So the first piece is... Looks like some archways. Cool. This is neat. This will be the biggest thing I've picked up for Fortnite so far. And look at that. We got two clock towers. Or two sides of the clock tower. Next. Two more sides. Oh, there we go. Two more sides of the clock tower. And yeah. running out of room here so ooh, look at this we got a piece of floor and I have to move some of this stuff away I'll set that stuff back there crinkle 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 maybe I'm not gonna open that one. Oh, there we go there are three pieces here what is this oh this is the base this is the base level that makes up that clock tower. And another big package unwrapping. This is this is level two, the second floor of the clock tower. And we got something little. Let's open the little thing now. Maybe it's a gun. <laughs> nope. This is the bouncy trap. I think it's what it's called, a bounce trap. Bouncer trap, something like that. I think, uh, yeah. Trampoline or something. Looks like a landing pad, if you ask me. And this is a half floor for the clock tower. And I'm guessing this is also two more pieces in the half floor. Yep, two more pieces in the half floor. Now, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff here. And we've got this connection piece thing here. Let's untape it. And we lost something. And we'll just wrap the tape around that. Sorry, I'm unwrapping all this stuff off camera, but I'm trying to keep it up. It's big. And we've got two more arches. I thought we were missing some arches, and there they are. And then the last piece of the clock tower. I know you saw something drop, but I guarantee you it's not part of the clock tower. There we go. This is the top of the clock tower. Can't have a bottom without a top, right? So before we go any further, I'm gonna open up this thing that fell off from the ground, uh, fell, fell off to the ground. It is really packed up well. It was wrapped in bubble wrap and Apparently inside it was wrapped. What is this, made of glass? They are really wanting this to be well secured, and I do not have my exact... Oh, I don't need an exacto knife. So this is something I will never buy, at least not on purpose. It's a Jonesy Domes. D-O-M-E-Z. It's a Domes. I don't know if it opens. It doesn't look like it opens. I don't really care too much about it. Kind of an, an interesting cross sale. Include something like this for free, and the people who might like it will say, Oh, I want to go get more. Yeah, I don't want to go get more, but it's kind of cool in its own right. So, it's going away. So, the whole clock tower fiasco. I, not really a fiasco, but anyway. Let's build it. You got four of these. It almost seems like there should be stickers or decals that pop, go there. Got four of these. I've heard rumors this is a very difficult thing to put together. Should we find out on camera if I can break it or if it really is that difficult? Hmm. Well, it looks like what one of the difficulties is, is you can't hook it together this way. You're going to have to hook it together this way because of these corner pieces. So that right there is going to make it difficult and it is a little bit tight 
It's bigger, harder plastic. Hmm. Yep. Right out of the gate, I'm already having some problems. Let's see if I can start it out. Let's see if I can break my shelf first. Okay, I got the top part on. Got the bottom part on, I think. Yep, got the bottom part on. This is going to be something you don't take apart. I don't think. Hmm. Y'all can just sit there and laugh at me while I try and put this thing together. Actually, that wasn't too bad there. Got the top part on. There we go. Cool. Three walls. Now, it's highly recommended when you put things like this together or any Fortnite type buildings with the building material is don't include a bottom because when you hook all this stuff together and you have a bottom, you might never get it apart. All right. So once it got started, it got started. It's a little tough, but there we go. There's the base floor right there. Next level will be a little easier, I think, because we don't have the bottom pieces like we had here. That is my theory. So let's see what direction. I think it goes this way. So I believe we can hook this together like regular building material pieces. It's a little tough, but I think it can be done that way. That yeah, seems to be working. So tuck that up. Find the correct uh, positioning here. That's not the correct positioning there. Let's see. Forgive me as I struggle through this. But I wanted to build this on camera. Even if my camera can't display it can't show it when it's completely built without me stepping way back okay there's the next piece here I'm actually quite impressed it's going a lot better than I thought it would be after that very first attachment now, this might be a little tricky you don't want to accidentally flatten and break this stuff apart so you got to hold on to this real well Sometimes it feels like it might break, but if you do it just right, it shouldn't. All right, there's another floor right there. Let's do the half floor. Now this will have the same problem as this base because of this molding, this building molding along. But we're only hooking this, so hopefully that'll make it a lot easier. We're only, only one connection point. And that, there. Well, that ended up being easy when I actually did it right. Crazy how when you do something correctly, it's easy. Because what you're supposed to do is slide them in from the bottom. So if you put it like this, it should, in theory, based off of how this is designed to be built, it should work, but I'm holding it wrong. There's a hair. Get away, hair. There. And then hook one side on. There we go. Got the half floor built. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Let's put the, the top up there. We'll start scooting this stuff off to the side. Here's the floor. I guess next will be the clock tower portion. So pop, 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 right there. Then pop, pop. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could take this apart. Might be tough. Pop, there we go. Might be tough, but you probably could take it apart if you wanted to. Pop, 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 there we go. And rotate. 
Pop. If I say pop, that means it's going to work, right? Pop. Okay, maybe it won't always work. Well, there's a tough piece right there. Let's try it from this end. I want a lot of thumbs up for this struggle. Give me lots of likes. Share this video with anybody you know that might like this. Watch a grown man struggle with Fortnite toys. All right, we got another one of these ledges. Let's see. Let's see. It's like the first floor. Yeah, there we go. Pop, 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 pop. We like hearing the pops. Pops means it's working. I don't mean the pop figures. I'm talking about the noise pop. Pop worked. Well, this is a little obnoxious. Pop, pop. Pop. I'm supposed to say pop, and it's supposed to make that noise. Pop. There, pop. You hear it, don't you? Pop. You're going to get tired of me saying pop. Pop. Oh, there we go. A bunch of pops. Pop. Pop. I think I'm getting tired of me saying pop. Pop, pop, pop. Fizz, fizz. There we go. Take a big breath. <sighs> anyway, launch pad thing. All the pieces. Oh, there we go. All of the clock tower pieces right there. I'm going to back my camera up just a little bit. Not enough, but it's a little bit. So now I'm going to grab the user manual. See exactly what levels go where. So this is level one. That is level two. And this is level three. That's level four, level five, and the top. And the floor goes in after this one. Why? Because there are notches that will hold the floor up. See these little ridges right there? They get held up in there. Okay, now, hmm. That first part wasn't too bad. This part is going to be a lot worse, I think. Because the way they want you to build this is not the way they want you to put these building materials together. Actually, that's not a bad idea. No, you can't do that. The way they want you to put this together... Wow, it all just fell apart on me. Pop, pop. You know, let's... I'm going to do something. I'm going to rip it apart. See, this is how it should be right there. I don't know if this will ultimately work, but we're going to try it. See, there we go. Now it looks like a, a box. So the idea would be that you fold these up and hook them together. I think that's going to work. Maybe, kind of, sort of. So maybe I was ambitious when I put them all together. Look at that, that worked out really well. Now this has got to go up there. We're going to raise the camera up. You might get to see my light. I don't know. Turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing. Jank this sucker apart. Okay. See, I'm proof right there. You can take this apart. Do the same thing again. And we'll build it up. I think I was wrong to do what I did. Don't build the floors first. Put the pieces on first. Roar! Roar! There we go. It's 
It's a little tough. I might tear this thing apart and let one of my girls try it out to see how easy it is for a kid to put it together. Because it's, I find this a little bit challenging. There we go, we have another box. Look at that. So, put it up. Oh, that fell out of, spot, out of its spot. So did this one. So now, we'll hook this together. And we'll hook this together. Yeah, I think I found the secret to putting this thing together. It just takes a little bit of time and trial and playing around and seeing how it works. I think this will work well. Build the clock tower from the ground up, not section by section. Because I believe the instructions say build the floor and then hook it together. Okay, I got a problem. That's, there we go. That wasn't hooked in. It works so much easier if you're building it up. This is definitely missing something. All right, so, hmm. I'm at a small problem here. I need to rearrange some stuff. This thing's getting too tall. Too tall. There goes my phone. Too tall. There we go. I lowered it to another level. Next piece. We're going to rip this thing apart, too. It can be done. Pop. 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 Yeah, it makes you think it's going to break. Don't let it fool you. As long as you know how to take it apart, it will go apart. Okay, oh. This one might not bend over properly. It doesn't. This is stopping it. Uh-oh. Well, we'll still put it together one piece at a time. So that might be a little bit tougher. Eh, maybe not. Now we rotate it and we push this together. Talk about being up close. Oh, this is like totally out of the light over here. Let's see. Oh, put that together. Put that together. He said his time. You might be able to take it apart, but I probably won't. Let me move my chair here. Let me move the camera back. There we go. So then the next piece. Gonna have to be kind of done together at the same time, it looks like. If that'll work. Hook it there. Then we'll push it down like so. And there's the other piece. Now this one might be tricky because I got all three of these to hook on to. Ooh, ooh. That wasn't too bad. I actually hooked it on most of the lower area. talking less as I'm figuring it out and calculating it. Okay, we got problems here and here. And it's all well and good to hook it here on the sides. But it's not hooked here. So take this back off. Unhook that. Gotta get it. Proper. You ought to get it proper. Okay. That side's proper. This side's not so proper. That's okay. You can properly hook all this. Maybe. Hmm. There we go. Snap, snap, crackle. Break. Oh. Yeah, let's not break something. Let's see if I can force this all together. 
we still got a problem here. Well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. You get this idea. Then this. Wow, this thing's getting tall. Let's look inside there. This will fit right th Oops. We like an oops. Come on. So let's do this instead. There we go. We have a floor. And ding, ding. You keep hearing my lights. And look at that. We're going up another level. And it's this level, the archways. So I don't know if this, let me check my camera here. You can still see this, right? Yeah, that, that works a little bit better. Wow, this is really, this Jumbo Llama is really pushing my filming capabilities and how much room I don't really have. All my secrets are being told. So, snap. Hey, look at that, it'll go down. That's a good thing. So we'll hook this up, fold it down, we'll rotate it around. Oops, snap. Down, and I wish I had some better angles for this camera. There we go. Actually, if you ask me, that looks like a pretty cool angle just in general. Now I'm about to hit my light. Ooh, I didn't. I missed my light. Real close to it. So, I'm gonna move the camera up again. <laughs> There's my light. <laughs> That's how close we are. Let's see if we can scoot this over here. There's my other light. <laughs> You're seeing all my background and stuff today on how I do things. And golly, this thing is big and tall. That's why the llama is so big. There we go. We snap that thing together and we still have this small problem here. I'll fix that. Oh, you can't see it. I still have this small problem. This is the only snap that I couldn't get in. I'll fix that later. But generally speaking, hey, it's done. Except for I'm knocking everything. Except for this part right here. This is going to be so... Oh, you can't see it. This is going to be so much fun. How in the world do I put this where you can see it? All right. Give me a second. I got to up the tripod here. Elevator going up. Camera going down. I want you to be able to actually see what I'm doing here. And that's as high as my tripod goes. So we're going to see if I can readjust the lights a little bit temporarily or something. There we go. Got some lights here. So how I might do this is on one side. Okay, this feels like it's going to be crazy easy. Click, click, snap. That was probably the easiest part of all of it. And you got a floor inside there. Got a floor going on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just bumped my audio recorder and I didn't even notice it. You have to bear with me on this video. This was this was a toughie. But anyway, look at that clock tower right there. That thing, I'm gonna lay it on its side. That thing is massive. It's tall. Let's see, how tall is it? Let's grab one of these things right here. Oh, look at all the confetti. So I'm going to put a 12-inch G.I. Joe figure here. There you go. And I'm going to try and stand this thing up. And, uh, well, let's lower this here. If that says much of anything, it's still taller than the 12-inch G.I. Joe figure that... The clock tower is, damn. it's it's tall. I don't know. I don't even have a tape measure, I don't think. Let's see if I can get a tape measure here to see, because I don't think anything says exactly how tall this thing is. 
Got a tape measure. So what's this say? And I can't keep the tape measure going. So from my sitting point, it is about 21 and a half inches tall. 20, well, yeah, just, yeah, between 21 and 21 and a half. Wow, that is almost two 12-inch G.I. Joe figures tall. And, yeah, this is great. I'm going to back up here a little bit. I'm going to bring my camera with me. You're going to see a lot of stuff here. See a lot of stuff. And let's turn the light. Let's get some light going on over here. So tilt some of these lights out so you can actually see it. And even still, you can't see it all. So there is. And my voice has gotten further away from the video recorder, by the way. But there is the clock tower. And apparently I accidentally autofocused, and so you may go out of focus. There it is. Is that cool? There is the entire pile of stuff. Since I've shown you all of this, I might as well keep on going. And there's no light, so it doesn't really matter. So anyway, there is the clock tower. Thank you for joining me. If you liked the video, this was a, a fun one to put together. Hit the like button, please. Subscribe if you want to see more of this type of stuff. And this will end our Llama Appreciation Week. Come back tomorrow and we'll open and review AIM, Early Game Survival Kit. Have a good day.